this I know is probably more of your alley. I know you probably took more time to listen to this yes, sir. than any of the other ones on yes, this list. Yes. And I really want to know what your thoughts is because this is this is Sharif's, I guess, um, you know, arena. You oh, know what I'm saying? I, oh, I, Somewhat. I, I, I loved it. You loved it? All I right. loved it. Okay. It's a big boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fucking old school, fucking pioneer. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and to to and I look at it I look at it like to come out with something in this day and age, in this era, with the music that he's competing against. And not necessarily competing because no one's literally competing anymore because everybody just has their fans. Right. You know what I'm saying? You only compete when it's the awards and shit like that. Right, right, right. You know, and I guess for record sales, but, you know, people just do what they do. They, you know, make music for the for their fans. And he definitely, he took it back for me a few of the I mean, he put Rest in Peace to the Pimp C. Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He put Pimp C on there, had him on there for the chorus and shit. Mm-hmm. Fucking love that track. That shit took me back. You know right, for people our age, definitely nostalgic. Like, yeah, for our age, we're just like, hold up, right? You got, you got the pimp on the track, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Texas, gotta respect it, right, right. And so, all now you were digging the album. Oh, digging the album. There, there was this that one track. What track was it called? I can't remember where. It, Is it that chocolate? Chocolate? No. That one? Was it that one or the one before? <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely different. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it, it, it took me to Andre's uh, fucking. I don't love, even know if that was really love Andre. Below, like love below that, it's almost like what well, I'm saying is different. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Like I'm not saying it's Andre's style at all. I got. I, I'm saying it just was different. I was just like, okay, but you know, I, he was just making an album. and He just touched a little bit on a little bit. You know, a little bit different right there. You right. Know what I'm saying, but other than that. If you listen to what he was spitting, though, right, he was dropping some. He was dropping, dropping some, some shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? It was <clears> different <throat> production wise. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely gotta fucking say, shout out to Manny Fresh, right, getting on the production for that last track. For that track. Saying? So loved it. Oh no, you you love that. Oh, album. I love that album. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I got some hot takes. I, I bet you do. Hot take, you, you. Hot take, hot take, hot take, hot take alert. I witnessed this man in concert. Right. Um, before anybody says anything, I just I just want y'all to know, Big Outcast is one of my favorite favorite groups of all time. So don't take anything that I'm saying. Like, oh, shit. I know, I, know, I know you're like, what the fuck, big boy? I expected no. more, though. No. I'll uh, say that before you say anything. Right. I did expect more. Mm-hmm. I did expect more. Because... I loved it, and you know he's my time. You know, right, right, love, right. Uh, he he kind of gets. A he look. deserves to listen. Yeah, off right. top, he gets to and for, for being a pioneer in hip hop. Right. You know, for our and day doing and so age, many things for you know musically, for music, yeah, push definitely the he was a pioneer because there's people before him. I'm right. saying that for our time, you know, what I'm saying he definitely because he's with Stan. Look, look, he was before us, like I said, a little before us, and he just dropped an album. Right. He's. He's it's his third able, solo album too. Yeah, and yeah, it's been spread out, but he's done so many outcasts. He's done some, yeah, oh yeah, he's got a lot of shit. Features, everything. Right. So he's been around. Purple ribbon. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I be on it all night, man, all, all day, night. straight yep. up. Pimp, yeah, if you want night. me, you can find me in the air. Hey, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm hey, on when it. that whole first dropped, man. yo, people went wild, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all did. Yeah, we all went wild. But um, well, no, nah, like I said, I did expect a little more though. I, I really wanted. I wanted a little more. I wanted a little more. Yeah. Just a little bit more. I'm going to give some of my hot takes on it. The first time I ran through the album, I was like, what in the fuck? I'm not feeling this shit. Yeah. I wasn't feeling uh, a lot of this shit on there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was. I mean, it was like a, it was like a, one or two songs. I was like, okay, I fucked with this. But I wasn't. Initially, I wasn't yeah, feeling yeah. the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And uh, because I felt like Big Boy, um, like you say, he's a pioneer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I felt like sometimes he was trying a little too hard yeah, to yeah. be different. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, <clears throat> there was nothing that, like, uh, with him being from Atlanta, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I felt like he could have he could have grabbed a little bit more from current Atlanta and added it to whatever he was doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying... Okay, I see. Right, right. I'm like, saying. like... Be be big boy, 
but like like I need like a little bit of a metro booming sprinkled in it not just be just, you know what I'm trying to say just to kind of like uh, you know add to like the whole fact that I like I am Atlanta, Atlanta yeah I'm all of Atlanta yeah. right you know what I'm saying but then um Maybe I listen reaching for being Atlanta the king of No Atlanta. no he was he was tra- he he was doing what he normally does yeah which is stand out from everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm different. saying? Right. Um, but when I ran through the second and third time, oh, I, you, you really took it in. Oh yeah, of course. I, you gotta get big boy. You gotta get <laughs> chunking on your weed. Hey, way. no, I gotta get. You gotta get big boy his fucking his fucking. No, he, this nigga's like. The, listen, yeah, y'all. Dude, I am legend. Big boy is like rap. <laughs> I am legend. <laughs> yeah, he is a right. Legend. Big boy is like rap royalty in my in my eyes. So. Yes. Oh I knew God. the first time that I ran through it, I was like, "I'm. I know that there's, there's I, I'm missing I, something." Right? No. W- listen, he. This you, me, got you over me here bro. joking? <laughs> He's over here really fucking. Yeah, hey, do we need we need to break the pocket? You need no, a, no, you no. Need a drink. We need to keep that. Listen, I don't smoke, y'all. So he's over here choking hard I'm on this. I'm hitting a doobie over right, here. Right. It's over here. It's the end. So it's like, hold up. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm trying to talk at the same time. Right. That's a no, no. Right, right. You know, uh, I'm still trying. <laughs> I'm doing right. it for you, the trillions. Right, right. Doing it for y'all. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I, I was watching an interview with Big Boy, and he said that, you know, how much time he spent on crafting songs, and yeah. how he brought in different people, different groups of people to listen to the songs, to vibe out. So I know yeah. that each song I remember that, yeah. has more to it than that first listen through. You know what I'm saying? I, I just know that, like, I forgot it about takes that. certain things to kind of, to kind of develop as far as how your ears kind of got to, it's something different. Yeah. So your ears got to develop to, some different, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's not what you normally hear, so it's you, you got to take the time with it. You got to take yeah. your time with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I went back in the next couple of times that I went through it. I was like, okay, I started picking up on all those different things. Yeah. Uh, all in all, I do think that it was a good album. I don't think it was. I think I think what Big Boy could have done was uh, just brought a little bit more of the current. Okay. Just I don't want to say you got talking s- about other artists. Or you I don't want to say just other artists, production sound, and production. you know, just just, yeah, just the, the sound. sound. Like yeah. for example, the song that he did with with, with with the Pimp C on the hook. Okay? okay, it's got the organs in it. Yeah, it's a classic Southern track. Yeah, even the content is like classic Southern. Yeah, like he's he's still rapping like the South hasn't won yet. Yeah, right. And so <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like kind of thrown off by this because I'm like. Bro, we're not we're we're, we're that's we're like past that. we're past we're that. We're, past that's like that. that's like oh three oh four era, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the song for the nostalgia feeling, but yeah. when I listened to the words, I was like, I was like, does he know that the South won? <laughs> <laughs> that we already been there, done that. Yeah, that we already, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, which kind of made me believe that maybe it was an old song that was done before. Well, with the, having the Pimp C in there, I, I believe that. I definitely believe that. Right, I right. I think that's a definitely a song. Like, like he said, he was marketing it around already. Right, right. It's probably already been out there, there and that, they probably yeah. just like re-upped it I and revamped it for something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of that, what I yes. felt like the song was. Yeah, I definitely believe that. You know what I'm that, saying? Yes. Um, and I didn't really need it. The, uh, the song that he did at the end with Manny Fresh. Yeah. It was, it was a hot song, but when I, when it, when the, that was the last song out. Yeah. When it ended. That was, yeah. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of went like open. I, I kind of with this like the concept of the boomer verse how it starts off where he's they're talking about like this starts everything like I feel like there was a concept going with the boomer verse yeah it didn't really and they cut you off they cut you short with that right it didn't really wrap up right at the I, end you know what I'm trying to say yeah you're looking for con- yeah I feel right you're right looking. I feel a like you were coming these days are doing that with the right. concepts that you really have to read between the lines and right right and I feel like he was doing that and, and then it just kind of yeah, like. Yeah. Didn't f- complete, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I and maybe that was a reason. Maybe that maybe that's a part of the concept. You know what I'm trying to say? It's never ending, right? Maybe it just works. keeps on going, right? So I'm not, I'm not knocking that, but I was like, uh, we're just gonna end it right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely wanted more. <laughs> right, right. I definitely wanted more. It wasn't to me. Yeah. He should have came out with one of those twenty album tracks, right? Like I would have wanted that from him more than it, like because. He's a legend from right. our time. I I would I don't want that new age. Our time it was like t- twenty tracks. Right. You know what I'm saying? I would have really rather had that. You know what I'm saying? But the Big Boy album is 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 not meant for like a one two time listen. It's meant to be 
like dissect it. Oh, you have to. And it's meant to grow on you. Yeah. I know, I know that the next time you. that I hear it, yeah. I'm going to like more of it. Yeah. The fifth, sixth time I hear it, I'm going to like more of it. Because I'm going to listen to it again over and, the next couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm going to, like, I'm just going to check it. I already know it because I'm, I'm starting to get in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I already know that's going to happen. So, you know, yeah. I just wish that based off of what I heard off the initial presentation, we had a little bit more of, you know what I'm saying? Some, some, I was expecting. I just want a big boy to go hard. I feel you. you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like I felt like he he should have came and just shitted on everything. That's why I said I wanted. You know what more. I'm saying? I wanted more, <clears throat> but I did like the album, right. so I can only imagine hearing it more and more and more. How much more I might right. like the album? You right. know what I'm saying? When I dissect it a little bit more, right? And because I, I when I was listening to that, I kind of already was dissecting because I kind of heard. Well, I've heard of a little bit. Like probably half of it more than once already, right? Because I was coming back and listening to the tracks again because I was like, uh, "Let me hear it again." Right, you know, right. I, I need to focus a little bit more. Right, you know, right. I was feeling it's like an I adjustment. Was, yeah, sometimes I was like, "I'm not focusing enough." Let me hear it again. Right. So there's tracks that I came back to, or actually maybe half the album. That you I just kind of sat there and focused on, yeah. and you were like, "This is Listen the hottest." That's what I'm saying. Like the one he did with Snoop, like yes. Sapphire track, yes. or the one he did with. Killer Mike and Corrupt. Uh, to me, it was uh, a fire ass track. Fucking to hear Corrupt. Right, right, right. right. It's and a fire ass track. But the first time I heard, it, I was like, "This is okay." And then, like, when I heard like second, yeah. third time, I was like, "This is a fire." See, that's track. what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying? I was hearing a few of them more than once, and yeah. I guess that also plays in part where I already, like I said, I already liked the album. Right. Because I was hearing it a lot. Like a couple, I probably say some of them I heard four, maybe five times. A few of the tracks. Shout out to Killer Mike's verses throughout this whole. I really felt like Killer Mike's verses stood out the, the most from this entire the, album. I actually, when I came across the track that when they said featuring Killer Mike, right. he was the more anticipated artist I wanted to hear on the right. whole track. <laughs> right, like, right, already, right, right. Off top, I was like, oh, I can't. I was like, I'm cool with Big Boy, but I want to hear what Killer Mike is going to do. You know what I'm saying? How I felt. I was right. like, I can't wait to hear. And he showed Mike. out. I want to. Yes. Killer Mike sounds more like he's like he's. I don't want to say he he doesn't sound like the new age rap, but he sounds like he's aware of what's going on and he kind of sort of sort of incorporates it yeah, yeah. into his rap style like, without wanna, sounding fucking corny and trash. You I know wanna, what I'm saying? I want to hear a Killer Mike album. I mean, we got to run the jewels, baby. You know what I'm saying? Run the jewels three just came out a couple months ago, man. Yeah, I want you know more. what I'm saying? I want hey, more. that was a fire ass album. It was. It was. You know I just saying? want more. Okay, yeah, we need a Killer Mike solo. Album. Another. Yeah, another one. Up. Another one. Another one. I keep bringing them. Uh, I've, I've always enjoyed Killer Mike. What, what do you give this album out, out of 10, man? Out of 10? Yeah. Right now, I'd have to definitely give it the 9. You gotta give it a 9. Yeah, gotta give it the 9. I'm giving it the 9 with room to grow. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, one more point. It's like with room to grow. I'm, I'm gonna give it an 8. No. Um. I can see One is because I gave XXX and a seven and a half. So I feel like I can't put, I kind of want to give this a seven and a half. You can't put him on the same level. I can't level. put him on the fucking same level. It's just, it's like, just, it's a, disrespectful. It's disrespectful as fuck to do that. That's so, blasphemy. It's blasphemy. I got to yeah, give, yeah, yeah. but not, that's not the only reason. I do think it was a decent album. I think, yeah. and I think it does have on the grow. So yeah. shout out to Big Boy. I re- re- really like to hear more it of it. It has replay value to me too. Yeah, it does. It does to me because I'm going to be replaying the shit out of it. Right. Like, we'll see where this goes. You know what I'm saying?